from this to this on today's pod cave cast hello and welcome to today's edition of the pod cave cast where i sit in my man cave and i talk to you about various different topics um, today we're going to be talking about the color splash or the color isolation also known as the color pop uh, by any other name, it's the same thing. Pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to be isolating a single color or object in a picture using GIMP 2.10. All right. So without further ado, I'm not going to waste any more time. Uh, we're going to jump right into um, uh, this uh, tutorial. Step one, you want to find a picture. Uh, in my opinion, you want to start out with a picture um, that already has a color or object uh, that is pleasing to the eye that catches your attention. All right. And, and that's what we have right here in this picture. Uh, it's a picture that I took. It's a lovely young lady. And immediately when I took this picture and saw it, uh, what stood out to me was the hair. So I figured it would be uh, great for the composition of this picture. If I did a color splash where I just focus in on the hair uh, and I drain the color from the rest of the picture. Um, so this is the picture that I use. Uh, I, I already have it open in GIMP. Now, you could just go ahead and start the color splash effect. But what I want to do briefly is um, I, I want to first uh, edit the picture. Uh, I want to make it a little bit more vibrant to start out with. Uh, so I'm going to do a basic brightness contrast adjustment uh, of this picture. Uh, you can do a lot uh, of complex things when it comes to editing the brightness and contrast. Um, but I'm just going to do basic um, brightness here contrast here you can get in here and start to edit curves and levels and all that stuff but i'm not really going to get into that i'm going to keep it simple and you can see right away that the picture is already uh, much brighter um, and, and more vibrant uh, than it originally was uh, so i'm going to start here at this point i am going to duplicate this picture so i, I use i'm on a mac right now so i use the uh, two finger click uh, which is equivalent to uh, the right click I went over to the uh, my my layer and I right clicked and I want to duplicate this layer. So I'm selecting from the menu duplicate layer and you can see that now I have two. If I unclick this one, you can see that they're the same picture at this point. We move right into step four. Step four, what we want to do is we want to create an alpha, alpha channel for the top layer. So right here, I have my top layer. A few different ways you can create an alpha channel, uh, but I'm going to right click and I'm going to select add alpha channel. And what that does is it adds an alpha channel for transparency, because essentially what we're going to do to create this effect, we're going to erase um, the, uh, the hair which is we, what we want to do the color pop on. We're going to erase that from the top layer. Um, and you're just going to see the color from the bottom layer of the hair. And the rest of the picture is going to uh, be desaturated on the top layer. And in fact, that is what we're going to go ahead and do next. Um, so the next step is we want to remove the color from this top layer. To do that, I'm going to click the colors tool, colors menu. And I'm going to come down here and select desaturate. Now you can do color to gray desaturate, or desaturate. Uh, color to gray just gives you a little bit more options on the black and white blend. But again, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to select uh, desaturate. Got a couple different modes here. Uh, luminance, lightness, luma, put in a value, average. You can kind of play with these to get the picture where you want it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select average and click OK. So at this point, you can see that my top layer is now desatur desaturated. The color's gone and the bottom layer still has the color. Now, what we want to do is we want to, uh, as I said before, we're going to erase um, the hair from the top layer. Now. Again, multiple ways you can do this. What I'm going to do is um, uh, I'm going to use the erase tool. So I'm going to select erase. Um, I want to make sure this hardness 
zero uh, fifty is selected, and you can adjust the size as necessary. I have a relatively big picture, um, so I may want to make this size a little bit bigger. I'm going to go uh, fifty, and it just makes my circle a little bit bigger. But what I also want to do is first I want to zoom in. Make sure I have my top layer selected and I'm going to start to erase. This is going to outline the outsides of the hair. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up in the video so that uh, you don't have to sit here while I, while I do this. So at this point, I do want to get the fine hairs over the face. So I want to make my erase circle a little bit smaller. Okay, so this point now that I have my outline uh, makes it a little bit easier to come in here. Let me increase the size. Let's go. Let's go eighty. Circle's so a little bit bigger, and now I'm just going to fill in the insides. Okay, and you can see we pretty much have the effect done. Now, once you have um, erased the parts of the picture that you want to erase, now you can come in and do some additional, um, say, color changes. Let's say you want the hair a little bit more vibrant. So what I'm going to do is um, I, I want to bring out the red in the hair a little bit more. So I am going to go to color balance. Uh, I'm going to select shadows in this situation. You can play with different things to see if you get the, the desired effect. And I'm just going to drag this out. Actually, I'm going to just punch in a value. Okay, you can see if I select preview, you can kind of see the difference. So it is much redder. And now we have our, our color isolation effect done. Um, this effect is very, um, very useful when you want to actually get a picture. Um, you want to increase the quality of your picture or if you want to uh, focus in on a specific part of your picture. This this effect is very powerful. So like this, so you can see the difference. And if I select uh, the bottom layer, you can see what I've actually erased here on the top layer. All right. So yeah, hope, uh, hope this has been useful. All right. Thank you.